Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel, whichever the case may be. Uh, today we're just going to randomly run around um, just restarted our game. <clears throat> or, uh, attempt to just find anything and everything we can find. We've done found a few good spots. Uh, salmon, um, white sturgeon, um, striped bass, smallmouth and largemouth bass. Uh, pretty plentiful places. Uh, uh, if you have a spot you want to uh, let us know about, uh, feel free to let us know. Uh, jump on in here and tell us. We'll go fish it. Uh, I have no problem with that. We're uh, still in the process of setting up our thumbnail and our box. on the wrong string. Alright. I think I'm going this one. I have to keep doing that. We're going to stand a chance of starting our spot here. We have been known to get our string interrupted by doing this. So far, so good. So good. Right. Yeah. Right, we seem to have everything up and running. Thumbnail set for box are running. So first off, we gotta we gotta actually gotta get in the canoe to go to where I'm going or to kayak. That's gonna take a few minutes. Uh, so yes, uh, hey, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the. Uh, okay. We could actually do that on tomorrow's trip if we need to. Or day six, uh, we're gonna try to do our 30-day challenge while we're here. Uh, We've uh, made our money back, so to speak, from the trip to get here. Uh, we're not totally out of debt from the fake buying and so forth, which we were going to do anyway. Um, just trying to think at this point which is going to be my better route to try to do some uh, um, sturgeon fishing or go over here and get some of the Chinook uh, for tonight fishing and then I think we'll do that. We'll just go over here and try to get a few of these Chinook. Um, Chinook, Chinook, how do you say it? Um, then after we end this day, we'll uh, uh, go over to my other hot spot during peak, between peak hours. 
uh, and in advance it we have to. Um, this for this spot you want 36 inches. Um, 10 inches works good here for striped bass. Um, it's an accidental find. Uh, to be honest with you. Uh, we're we'll gonna go ahead and shoot for one striped bass to start with. Um, just to see if we can catch one for you. Chance we're gonna catch something else prior um, to that striped bass. But get off the edge. Can I just set this to 10 inches? What is this? Alright, here we go. Activity already. We've got this community post here from Danny. There we go. Uh, not gonna be a straight bath, I don't think. Yeah, might be, might be. I think I was going too high there. Your personal record for a strike bag, 24 pounder. Okay. Okay, anyway, uh, strike bass number one. Uh, we'll go ahead and shoot for another one since we're, uh, we got lucky here. We're at, uh, peak for strike, or for anything actually, we're at peak activity. Go ahead and try to see if we can get a couple more bass. They, uh, they fight pretty good, so I, I don't re recommend using anything smaller than you know, 20, 25 pound rig here because of the other size fish that are looking around these jokers. Uh, last night's trip, I think it was day five, I think, uh, don't quote me there, maybe in day four, uh, fishing this spot. Um, my Chinook spot just to the left of here, we'll go to here shortly. Um, that'll be at 36 inches. Uh, run out over 250 foot of line. Uh, and of course, snap, got away. Uh, 12 foot rig, or 12 pound rig. I couldn't stop it, couldn't control it. So, there's nothing I could do with it. Set the drag up one more, he was going to pop the line anyway. So, um, that was a bad deal. Then we're getting all sorts of XT reduction with this rig. 25 pound rig. Uh, shouldn't be getting that kind of reduction, but we are. Uh, next smallest rig I could use is this one. And of course, uh, I am not using 12 pound rig. Not doing it. Uh, as you can see, it, it still doesn't have any bait on it. Uh, that reel had 250-some-odd feet of line, 256 feet, I think it was. So now down to 219, it snapped quite a bit of the line off when it took it out. Well, not going to do it. So this is a real good spot, like I say, for the uh, striped bass. You're going to get some uh, smallmouth. Uh, Occasionally you might end up with a large mouth here, but uh, small mouth and then striped bass. Very plentiful here during peak. Uh, any other time off peak, you're going to get just, you know, common small mouth bass. Uh, 
occasional um, maybe get something else may end up getting striped every now and then during off piece it's a hit and miss one time you'll get a good fish next time you won't um, get to feed see what these feeding frenzies are um, I think they're striped bass but I cannot tell about it because I'm not I'm not catching nothing in them Try them all around the back side of the waterfall. There's uh, four of these feeding frenzy spots that I've found so far. I've tried 10 inch, uh, 24 inch, 20 inch, 36 inch. Uh, I've tried all sorts of depths. Um, every piece of bait that I have. I'm not getting no activity at all through these feeding frenzies. Um, as we were in Michigan, Michigan, we would actually. Uh, Following a pike feeding frenzy, I think uh, if you uh, you can drop in that middle of that free feeding frenzy, and you can come back with a pike last uh, time. Here, I don't know what the feeding frenzy is. It's probably a bad. Yeah, I don't know though. He, no, he's coming toward me. I still hit her up. Right there. Good money. Uh, there's 17 pounds. So I gotta get probably 18 pounds before I don't get no more penalty. Uh, almost seven hundred, six hundred and thirty dollars for a 17 pound fish. So we can shoot for 18 pound or better. Which we can't tell which size fish to jump on our hook. We have to catch whatever gets on our hook. And that was way too short. I don't know if I'll catch him at 65 foot or not. Again, this is not an informational video. This is just my spots that I have found. Um, I've watched several videos. Um, most of the videos are with lure. Um, you cast out a few spots here and I'll show you the uh, little spots that I know of. But you can, you can find the same spots. Just Google them. Uh, YouTube will hire you to do it. But, um, get down. Uh, too far away from the circle there. Well, And don't cast like that. I, I don't recommend casting like that. There we go. There we go. 85. I'm sorry, back to it. 8. Right off that leg. Again, we're going to confirm this when I pull it in this time and make sure I'm definitely at 10 inches. This should be at 10. And I may have left it at 99 earlier. I was at 99 on that creek at my other hot spot. This is why you don't use anything less than 20, 20 25 pounds. Look at this. I guarantee he's going to be about a 16 or 17 pounder. It's not going to be huge. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
eleven hundred dollars. Thirty pounds trophy right there. As your record. Alright, we gotta try that again. Let's see where we're at. We're at yes, yeah, see we're at ten inches. What I thought. I fished here for a long time. Nothing. Nothing dry every time. Um I remember a uh, friend of mine, Cajun Racer, uh, telling me about a spot on another lake that was ten inch. For him, it worked great. Um, so I decided to try it. And of course, 10 inches has uh, been prosperous in several locations here on this water. Um, I'll, I'll definitely I'll take you along my little journey here for the next uh, couple of game days. Uh, we will we will be advancing. We're uh, we're in profit stage at this point. So uh, we've made over 80,000. Cost us. Uh, 60,000 originally to get here and then 2,000 each additional day. Um, so at this point we're, uh, we're in for, uh, like 72,000. We've made over 80 some thousand at this point. Um, at the end of the 30 days it tallies up, uh, what you made for the total trip. Um, that's where we'll find out exactly what we made for the total trip. Um, Fortunately, we won't find that out for 30 days or 24 more days. We're going to go ahead and knock out the 30 day challenge while we're here. I think we can handle it. Um, there's so many spots in this place that we've not ventured yet. Be willing to hear your stories. Uh, even if it's after the stream, the live stream here. Um, stop by the video if you're watching this. Um, leave in your comment section um, which uh, spawn point you were located at, uh, the lure you were using. Um, just tell us your story. Uh, be interested to hear your stories. Definitely still got activity. These, this particular day had some uh, some excessively short peak times, um, like maybe two hour peak times total from start to finish. Uh, show you that map here in just a second. Schedule, brother. Excuse me. Uh, Sixteen pounds, five eighty-three. Decent money. Decent money. I'm not complaining. Uh, you notice there, there's pretty decent nighttime schedule. Um, maybe short peaks. Uh, really don't start peaking until around 5:36, and then by 9, 10, it's gone. Uh, not complaining. I'm just saying we've got short peak times on this day. Tomorrow we've got a little better peak time. Um, our nighttime peak is, you know, kind of wavy, but. We've got two days in a row of uh, pretty much the same schedule. We're going to do our best to try to catch just about everything. Uh, I don't even understand why they have walleyes here in that listing. They don't have walleyes in this water, do they? No. No. What point you don't have walleyes? Why would you even have a schedule up for walleyes? Look at that. Channel catfish, walleye, and many others. Are you just giving a general description of night, maybe? I'm going to leave that one alone. And we're going to attempt to go back over here and catch more of these. Uh, striped bass. Uh, I would love to get another trophy. Should have paid attention. I don't know if there's unique on the steel uh, striped bass. I think there is. We just gathered our uh, new record live on stream uh, of the striped bass, so that's a that's a plus. Unfortunately, we have no live streamers right now to have seen that, but uh, uh, 
anybody that's watching the video later on, uh, you like that cat, 25 pound rig, uh, 30 pounder. Again, these feet, these fish here fight exceptionally hard. Really don't know which bite's the hardest. I want to say the white sturgeon at this point has been the hardest fighting fish. Um, I don't even play with the smaller rigs. I won't even attempt. Um, if I know I'm going for the white sturgeon, I get straight to the 35 pound rig. Um, unfortunately, they they don't list uh, the two baits for them to use. Um, both are actually good bait. Well, he just now decided to want to run, huh? Yeah, go ahead and run, boy. You can't get away from me. Yeah, you're not getting away from this one. Looks like that might be a steelhead. Nope, nope, that's a little tr uh, trophy again. And I said I wanted a trophy. Wow. What size do we have to get not to get a penalty? Okay, okay. I thought it was 18 pounds. But maybe that was for the common, though. This should be a decent number. As soon as this spot starts going kind of sour, as uh, Danny would say, um, this starts when it starts going sour on me. Uh, I will switch up to my uh, salmon, uh, up salmon, see if we can catch a trophy. Go back and look at my records later, and uh, I don't remember the exact sizes of the. 34, I think, for the sturgeon. I don't remember the exact size on the salmon yet, so. Don't put me on either one of those numbers. Here it comes. I have a striped bass down that way, really. I like to, I like to see these fish. They, uh, they tend to jump up out of the water coming out of your bait since it's so high up, 10 inches. Um, I, I have seen them jump completely out of the water down there uh, in an attempt to get that bait. Yeah, this is definitely another striped bass. The salmon don't fight real bad. Uh, I haven't got a huge one yet, so that was a nice size on there, I think. New personal record, 37. There's my unique. Okay, baby. Uh, proof that there are uniques in this spot. Right here. You see it. Now we're going to clip this video, so we're going to get a blue screen for a second. Uh, there's your proof. Love it, love it, love the cost, love the money right there, XP, everything. So beautiful with that fish. See if we can get us another unique here. Bring them back a little bit. Alright, folks, so we're hunting for our second unique here. This will be our first unique since we've been at this water hole, I think. Found uh, several trophies. Dragon was close to it. A little bit of a wake uh, sometimes on these, even during peak. Uh, my bag's full. Same for me not looking. 175 pounds at 440, and it's 10 11 p.m. So, um, since we did not catch a lot of large fish today, I'm hoping for uh, a little better than a $20,000 cake today. If we catch this fish and have to release it, we'll, uh, we'll look, see what kind of money we got. 
good nighttime fishing uh, white sturgeon up in our other location we'll show you later um, we can do day fishing there as well uh, work but uh, seems to be a little better active from what I've seen at night let me get one more here Maybe not. Back in the 70s. Uh, we're uh, doing the striped bass first. Uh, in this particular location, we have uh, one other location that we were doing real good on uh, steelhead and striped bass same location uh, of course again an occasional smallmouth um, we'll have to do that during a, a day trip between peaks and we'll, we'll go over and do our, our last peak there in the night fishing uh, where we were uh, we were actually at the last before we had to restart our game prior to starting that stream here we go Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, you next, uh, Danny. I apologize for misunderstanding that number on the player's name. I didn't realize it, what that actually meant uh, until you said that. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of odd how a level nine could be in a level thirty lake. Uh, I don't know if that's a reportable instance. Uh, that's entirely up to you if you want to email them that screenshot and see what they say we just pulled a unique out of here you just did miss it uh, bags already full so we just wanted to pull in one more before we uh, NP, yeah that curious yeah that's I don't quite understand how he's there knowing what level that lake is uh, again there's a 15 this and these, these fish they fight exceptionally hard. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and release that. So I'm going to jump into a menu. Uh, see what kind of money I got here for this today. Only 19000 So, well, we would bring it in just anything and everything we could catch today because of the fact that uh, you know, we're needing all the money we can get. Uh, we're suffering a lot of XP reduction because of the rig. Um, I'm using a 25 pounder. But I'm still uh, still getting a lot of reductions. Next day, another two thousand dollars in the hole, another twenty thousand in the bank. All right, since we done our, uh, remember this spot right here. Um, you're at the waterfall itself. Once you log in, once you spawn in at that. Point, you'll be back a little bit just walk all the way forward you'll see these rocks here let me go all the way back to where you're going to spawn you're going to spawn probably something like this you see these two rocks in front of you something of that shape you just walk all the way to the very last one you can stop on the rock or go in front of it it doesn't matter set your leader to 10 inch Shiners, four out hook. Um, you're gonna have a lot of wait time if you go with the seven out hook, like you know we originally planned. Um, you're gonna go through a lot of wait time. So, 10 inch. Start back here. You're gonna be somewhere around 80. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw catch one more right quick, and then we're gonna switch spots to the. You like it there? Yes and no. Um, if I knew about more where the higher paying money fish were, I would like it a lot better. Um, the striped bass are a good paying fish, um, but I'm having to use such a big rig, uh, 25 pounds, and just about everything I catch has got an XP reduction on it. So I don't know all the good locations here. I know, you know, four or five. This is one of them. I kind of found this on my own. 
I was following these feeding frenzies like we did on Michigan, trying to figure out what was feeding here. Uh, I never did find out what was feeding here, but I ended up started catching uh, some striped bass. But again, the wait time in between catches is, is kind of slow if you use a bigger hook. Your first day, I recommend don't worry about what you catch. Just catch anything and everything. Um, that's still it. See, I'm, I'm not getting a reduction for that. I don't get it. The striped bass at 11 pounds, that would have been a three bar reduction. Steelhead, not. Nah. So, but anyway, this is your this is your spot for the striped bass. I caught a unique here. Uh, yeah, I'm good on my record there. And where's my striped bass at? There's my Chinook. Caught it here two days ago. Uh, 42 pounder. Trophy, of course, you see. Uh, there's my unique striped bass. I caught it here on today, actually. Um, this is in my other spot that I'm going to show you after a while. Here in day fishing. Uh, we have to row over to the spot, though. So I do that between peaks so I don't lose a lot of fish time. Oh. But they're, uh, awesome actually, catch. thanks sir. Yeah, I caught that, uh, actually right here in front of us where we're, where I'm standing right now. Oh. Uh, I caught it from right there, not more than 20 minutes ago, maybe. I caught it on this string, so. Okay, with, with that being said, you know, there's, Guaranteed striped bass, you can get a few steelheads there. Um, I like to go to the front of this rock and go as far as I can. Change your line depth to 36. Oh, wrong button. See that rock right there? You want to the left of it, and you want to go up to about 80 feet. So I go past 80 feet, of course, and I draw it back to anywhere from 81 to 79 feet, and that's too short. That's too short. That, okay, it dropped. There's a ledge there. Um, if you come too far back, your fish is going to land on that ledge, and you're not going to catch nothing. So, the reason I say 79 to 81 feet, your Chinook salmon, and be prepared for a fight. Uh, they do give a decent fight. Uh, I don't know what size hit me last night or two days ago, whatever it was, but I was running my 12 pound rig and he ran out 250 feet of line and kept getting it. I haven't rebaited that line, that rig since. That's a little bass. Alright. The disappointing first catch on this spot. Because I shallowed, I was, I was way too short. You got, like I said, you got to be a, around the 80 feet mark. Right there. Sit right there. And it's, it's a little bit of a wait for the salmon. Uh, it's not like, to, you know, throw in, pull one, throw in, pull one. It's, it's not a pretty rapid return, but, um, you pretty much guaranteed at least a good size salmon from this spot, from what I've seen. Um, lure fishing, um, different depths I've tried. Uh, of course, the crankbait. I haven't tried many I'm other baits. I'm at Everglades right now, testing this waterway. Oh man, I wish I know. I wish I could remember the name of that spot. Um, there is a spot over there um, that you can catch the peacock butterfly, uh, butterfly peacock bass. It is very, very plentiful there. Um, wow. I wish I could remember the name. Uh, and, of course, there's another location there that you better be ready for some uh, fight. Uh, I don't have to do my 30-day here. I'm... I've paid for a license. I've made my money back on the license and stuff. So, if you want me to help you at Everglades sometime today or tomorrow or something? I'll be glad to. I might could actually do a lot of this. I'm on day seven so far. 
So be interesting to get okay. this 30 day I use. Survey the area. Um, if Caden comes in, he probably knows them by heart and he may could actually jump in there with you. Um, he shared the two buoys I've actually got there, or the, I think it's only one buoy, but, um, he showed me the two locations, he showed me what to use, um, yeah, we were, we were racking up, that's, um, uh, I think that was my first tournament, was on the Florida Everglades, um, that's also where it taught me to start using the 20 pound rig, um, as I was fishing for the smaller fish, and of course landed a 17 pounder on a, I think it was my eight pound rig, it took me forever to get it in. On tournament, man, you the biggest thing you got. Uh, you want to fast, you want as many as you can possibly catch on most of the tournaments. So the smaller the rig, the longer the fight, the bigger the rig, the less fight, you're going to get reductions, but you're going to possibly win the tournament. Or have a better chance of winning. Alright, this uh, should not be taking a little longer than I wanted to here. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go ahead and catch you one here, and then we're going to move around a couple of spots. As we have a have a little bit of a window here that we can move to our other striped back, stripe back bath location later. I want to just catch one here and then I'm going to move to my next spot. Because these fish don't pay very good. They're, you know, upwards in size that pay under $1,000 fish. Where I can catch two striped bass and equal, you know, $1,000 and be less weight than that one Chinook. So I can double my amount of fish by fishing for smaller fish. And even trying to catch bigger ones at night or maybe just to finish out the bag or something but they don't pay good enough to actually do a you know a lot with sturgeon not pay well they pay pretty good uh we'll, we'll find out here in just a little bit i don't remember the exact cost i took a couple of screenshots that i could pull them up and look and see what they were i don't remember on that one post uh that was the sturgeon i done on that wasn't it uh the communities there we go pull up my community right quick and i'll look see i don't remember uh, i know i was getting reductions off of them because i was using such a big rig it's kind of bite uh, something got even scary down there i have pulled this back close to 78 and caught a few but 80 foot seems to be kind of a sweet spot, so to speak. Uh, let's see, where's it at? That was my. That was. Uh, got no price on that one. Okay, for a 36 pound white sturgeon, it was 319 XP, $1,700. And I mean that was that was good money. Uh, so yeah, the sturgeon pay pretty good. The salmon don't pay that good, for, you know, for the size fish that you're catching in the fight that you got to do. I'm about ready to give up on this one and come back later. Drag you back to 78 and force see if we can force a catch here real quick. Come on, there we go. That's some activity. Just don't be a damn little bass. Come on. Give me a inch in that boy. In fact, we'll, uh, I'm not going to cast out here no more for right now. There's some, uh, a lure spot here that we can do on that uh, lure day of fishing. I've done pretty good lure fishing here, actually, to be honest with you. Are sturgeon plenty full right there? Uh, no, I have not caught a white sturgeon here at all. Um, the Chinooks, the striped bass, smallmouth, largemouth bass, steelhead, the sturgeon are on another location. Uh, we'll go there very next as soon as I can pull in one of these Chinook here. But, uh, yeah, I have, I have not caught a sturgeon from back here. I 
is only two physical spawn points, um, two locations out of that spawn point that I've caught sturgeons from. There may be other locations to catch them, I don't know. Uh, you won't catch one with lure bait, it has to be a live bait catch. Uh, I mean, even the, the species schedule shows there's no lure bait available for the white sturgeon. And I think we might have a little, yep, we got us one of them salmon right here. Probably going to be a fairly small one. If you have not, please rate the stream, hit that sub button, and make sure you turned on notifications. All right. 13 pound with no reduction that's good but look only 633 for a 13 pounder 205 xp is good but um, they are much better paying fish in this quarter i'm going to keep him because of the money um, and the xp of course i've already got so uh, remember that location there 82 to say 78 feet right along in here um, i never caught nothing any further past it or anything closer because there's a little ledge right in there around these rocks that you're going to land on if you go back any further. Um, here at 10 inches, and both of these with shiners now. Uh, crayfish work pretty good, um, and shiners. You're going to get small bass, um, striped bass, and your chinook from this location. Now, lure bait, you want to do your lure is far out as possible right through this middle you see that green building out there you want to kind of try to aim somewhere in these two three locations like in here and do whatever method you want to retrieve and I do recommend trying different baits because of the depth of this water uh, so it kind of sporadically changes uh, we got two little small deep spots here right at us and then that deep spot right in the middle that's pretty much what you're aiming for, that deep spot. I've tried to go out in the canoe to get there and can't seem to quite find the right spot. So, so don't change room. We're going to come down here to Great. these other two locations are the ones that I've found the white sturgeon that pretty much the same area, just different ways to approach them. So we'll go get this one first. And to be honest with you, I've, uh, I have found the 10 inch. It works real well here. As, as well as the 30, 30, 31, 36 works too. But I uh, found the 10 inch works, I think, better. Uh, we're making the first mistake is throwing a 25 pound rig. Uh, too far. That was okay. Uh, first mistake is throwing this 25 pound rig in this hole. That's not a good idea. It'll be fine for the first couple of fish, maybe. Um, I mean, that second fish, that third fish, but hell, it might even be your first one you catch from here. It's well, we'll see. Let's see what we can actually do here. Alright, that feels like a bass. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a little small bass. Maybe a small mouth. Large mouth. Okay, so I'm wrong. But it was a bass. Right. Oh. Again, I'm using my... Uh, 25 pounds to over there. You don't want too close to that pole. You want to be right about that pole, but anywhere in this general area. I've tried several different depths. And I fell back to the 10 inch, and man, it, it was like I put a whole different lure, trying different bait all together. It just they started hitting. At the 31 inch, I could hit that edge. Drop it off, and 20 minutes later I might get a fish. Um, here it seems to be a little more 
protect it at 10 inch. We're going to also, we'll try our other dip, we'll try that 36 here in just a minute. you got to land it on the leg and then just slowly drag it to you until it drops off the edge of that leg over there. Slowly start bringing the tortoise. I don't like his activity. He's not, not moving around back enough back there for me. I did try the large minnows here. I don't remember which, what I caught. I think it was a large mouth bass. But uh, since we got such a constant current with this water, um, I try to look for ways that I can let that current work to my advantage. Have you got your money back right now? Yes, all except for the bait that I originally spent. You know, when I told you I left uh, Michigan, I was going to go buy a bunch of shiners. I did exactly that. I bought a bunch of shiners, uh, down to 300 now. I think I bought like 436 or 430 something, whatever. I, it was over 400 I bought originally. Um, and then I spent 60000 to come here. And by day five, I was at 71000 by the start of day one five, I was at 71,000. So, yeah, from this point on, with the exception of the bait, it's all profit. And again, I was going to buy the bait regardless. So, yeah, I've made my money back and I'm, I'm in the process of trying to regain that bait loss too now. So, if ever fish that I catch will be somewhere around 500 or better with a shiner, you know kind of almost justifies the fact nice. that, you know, almost $700 for 10, I think it was. All right, so we're going to keep coming back until we get our sweet spot over here. I, I really want to say it's going to be, again, about 80 feet. Being it's daytime, I may end up having to try the 36 inch here. At uh, 99 for the middle. Um, this the second spot I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Uh, hopefully, it'll be just a minute. Ten inch might not work here today during the daytime. But, you know, trust me, I've had it to work. 10 inch but the uh, the white sturgeon are definitely a weight they're a lot more weight than the uh, salmon so that's where knowing more of the hot spots I guess they call them money spots uh, would benefit but spending 30 days here you're going to find a bunch of spots on your own so you can watch all the videos you want. And I honestly think a lot of this, some of them are luck. You know, this is a constant flowing water, so these fish are not all going to be staying in one location. They're swimming around. So if you're using a lure bait and you're casting out 150 feet, dragging it back to you, you catch one fish, you throw it back out and don't catch another one, it's possibly because that fish just happened to be swimming by. Um, I still don't recommend just one and leaving that spot. Cast it about four or five times. Make sure that that was the only fish in that area. But um, I found that you catch one fish, two fish, and then you're dry for about 30 minutes or so. We're not giving up on the spot yet, 10 inch. We'll try to a couple more minutes. Definitely not liking the results so far, especially considering this is uh, where I caught my biggest sturgeon from. Hey, um. The dev said fish is now my grade is true.
I would think so. I mean, they're simulated as close to possible, I guess. Right, now this, I guarantee you, you're going to hit the ledge. So that's what we want. We want to drop on the ledge. Don't hit the rocks. I've had my lure bounce out in the water and snagged up as soon as it did. But uh, that is 95 feet. Now we're trying the 36 inch depth at uh, just off the edge of the ledge. And he's already got his eyes on something he's running from. Current constantly flows from right to left here. At this position where I'm standing. So I heard some activity. Running from something, he's running towards me. What are you running from? So this this part I don't really like the the long wait between the white sturgeon. Uh, they're, I guess that's because they're not that plentiful fish. Maybe I don't know. They uh, don't catch many. Uh, six days. This is my seventh day here in the same sturgeon. Not like another bass. Um, you know when you got a sturgeon. Come on, let's get a sturgeon here. Nine six, you got off the edge. We don't catch a sturgeon here on this particular path. We're going to turn to our right and try the other location. That is really Agent easy to find. Razor video about sturgeon not held much. I already watched his vid. Yeah, he never caught a sturgeon from here, but this is his location. He was at 31 inches, and so I figured, you know, I would start there. Um, it panned out from actually watching his video where he was starting from. Um, I pulled up another video of same said. Um, sturgeon and he showed me the second location that I'm thinking to show you here um, and I'm I think I'm like six or seven I, I just I give up on them for a while because they were such scarce fish and I was needing to try to make my money back but now that I'm in the profit stage so to speak you know I'm, I'm more apt to try to catch different different strain different species so to speak so I, the only thing is the weight, and that, that's part of the reason I didn't want to live stream that first little bit of fishing here is because of the the fact that you know I'm I'm here trying to grind to get my money back. And there's gonna be a lot of wait time, so I'm gonna be fishing between peaks and everything, trying to make every dime I can here. And I didn't want people to have to watch me stream doing that. That's that's just too boring for some people to sit and watch. Uh, you and I, we would have probably enjoyed it, but. You know, most people are not going to be sitting here watching me. Like this right here. You know, the average person wouldn't have sit here and waited long enough to see if I could actually catch a fish from here. They kind of got bored and booked on somewhere. So I'm actually getting to that point. And I'm the one fishing here, so... You know, if I'm the one fishing here and I get bored, it's bad. So, but it won't be... Uh, I'm actually maybe off my peak here, too. Sorry about the temperature. I had to move my fan. 6.41, 7 o'clock. Um, I may yeah, have missed. I feel ya. 
I may have missed my peak for this spot here. Uh, night fishing does a little better here for the sturgeon from what I've seen. Um, we'll go ahead and try our other location right quick. <coughs> And I had my two identical rigs uh, originally set up. Uh, one was at 36, or no, one was at uh, 28 inches, and one's at 99 inches. So where was I fishing at 28 inches at? Either way, uh, we'll figure that out. I meant in fact, we'll go back to that first spot, try 28 inches. Maybe that's what I found. So I would do in the 99 inches here. And what you want to look for is that tree, and the way the guy described it on his video, the tree that looks like it's giving you the bird, like flying you the middle finger there. Hold on, please. apologize for that okay anyway back to what I was saying a tree that looks like it's flying you the bird I'm gonna come over to the right of that and I basically hang for that tree right there a little further up you want to go about 50 feet out you're gonna see there's a ledge anywhere past 50 you're basically on the lower bank Keep dragging until your bait drops. Should be about 52. There it is. All right, now you can see my bobbers moving downstream and I've already got activity. Something's fixing to take it. That's interesting. Stop still for a second. I just know something's fixing to get it. Um, again, this spot is still, you know, white of uh, the uh, the bass. Um, I fished for the crappies. Um, I even caught a California roach. A little bitty tiny fish. I won't even try and pull. Um, when I was trying those feeding friendly spots, I had switched to the little one number one hook. I don't remember the bait I was using at the time, but uh, I caught a little California roach. Puny little thing. Kind of looks like that blunt nosed minnow for its size. Yeah, I think we're going to come back here and try night fishing here. Our day fishing is not tough. Not too profitable for the sturgeon here that I've seen. Give us time to row over to that other section. Um, I've done a little bit of uh, kayak fishing here. Uh, I plan on doing a little more during the 30 days, you know, going around some of these grassy areas around the edges. Using that 10 depth, 10 inch depth method. Uh, find a lot of these other spots, see what I can catch. But, um, I did bring myself a wide range of other type of bait for other different fish as well. So I brought some peas, uh, and they were. Uh, you will catch some fish with it. So. Give you down there. Go ahead and take it. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've seen these spots a little, little better, profitable during uh, night fishing. Night fish for the crappies, the bass, stuff like that, and catch them here during, uh, you know, kind of all peak, so to speak. There. Uh, This is 
did, but not looking good for a sturgeon right this minute. Usually when it gets past, it's, it's done. Uh, we're going we're gonna to actually come back to these. We're in off peak, so we're going to come back to these. Uh, we got to go get our kayak. And we're going to boat over to the spot I was talking about. I actually shared this buoy with you, but you can't. I didn't realize you couldn't accept the buoys until you were in the water that the buoys were at. So. That's the reason I can't accept the three that you shared with me. Pro J Gamer is my hero facts. What's up, Dragon NBK? Dragon in the house of Dragon Gaming. What's up, my man? A legend, the myth. Dr. Dragon in the house. What's going on, man? I seen you playing that uh, Mortal Kombat the other day. Kicking some booty, was you? At work but dropped a like for the master facts I appreciate that like man I appreciate the support man I tell you I do yeah I, I used to play the uh, original Mortal Kombat years ago the PC version of it oh uh, and then uh, PS3 I think it was had the Tekken uh, used to like playing that until they discontinued it they shut it down completely We just out it. We're taking a little boat ride today, man. That's awesome, man. It takes time out of work to stop by the videos. That's awesome, man. I told you, MDK Dragon Gaming, he is a legend. Next time you get a chance, actually go to my channel, Dragon. Now, look how I got it set up. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, your name's on the related channel list on the right hand side. You can dock your boat right here if you want to, Jim. Uh, we're going to go right up here because of the current. This is the buoy that I shared with you right here. I, and we were at... Uh, Welcome to the stream. I am Fussbot. Play games here and have fun from Roldis, Bank Heist, and Flipcoin. 99. Anywhere now, again, this is off peak, so this we may not get nothing right now. We're off peak, so we're gonna cast out a time or two in the spot, my location, just to see what we get, and then we're gonna advance the time. I'll show you what we get. Uh, I've already got activity. I've got a pretty good size steelhead here, uh, of course, the smallmouth, and then the striped bass. Well, striped bass is what we're going for here, but. Yeah, that's you slim out of the water. That's what happens when them little fish get on your hook. You just snatch them out of the water. Now you can fill your bag with these off-size fish, I call them. Uh, they're not paying very good. But if you fish enough in these spots, you'll fill your bag up. I mean, you, the goal is to your bag, make as much money as possible, along with making as much XP as possible. But the smaller the rig I tried to use here is just it's kind of devastating, dude. It's the, that fish caught me out there and ran me 250 some feet and snapped the line. Uh, I played with him probably 15 minutes before he done that, too. Bad part about it. He hit my line at 80 feet. Um, in fact, that spot I was showing you where I was catching them salmon from, that's, that's where it happened. Uh, another little small, might be a striped. Yeah, that's striped bass. 13 pounder, $503. Um, yeah, he hit my line at 80. I brought him in just a little bit. He went back out two or three good times, and then that last time he went out, he just kept going. I seen he was at 200 feet. I tried everything I could to make him stop snatching the line, turning, twisting, everything. I just, I couldn't get him to stop. 
it got all wet and lined in and my everything just turned bright red at the end. You've seen that. You had one of them uh uh I on it. Uh, you had one at Michigan pull your line all the way out, didn't you? Since we are, since we're actually getting pretty lucky here, catching some decent size, we're going to switch down to our smaller 25-pound rig. Probably going to be a mistake here, but we're still going to try. Make sure our depth is 99 inches. We can get a little XP off some of these fish as well. That'd be a benefit to us, you know. Stand right here and throw it 45 to 47 feet. I haven't let it go any further back than that usually. You know, I think I caught one around 48 feet. But constantly pulling your weight or your bait away from you. So you can toss it in to the right a little bit, about 45 feet, and just kind of let it drift toward that buoy. I have actually let it out to the 47-ish type. You sit right here between 45 and 50 feet, you're going to catch a pretty good range of striped bass, bass, smallmouth. And again, this is all peak, so we're not going to catch a lot rapidly, but I just see what this, I want to see what this 25 pounder is going to do against something right here. I think we're fixing to find out. Oh yeah, there we go. It don't take too long to get some of these, especially if you're, you know, fishing for the smaller. Um, 16 pounds give you a little reduction there. Unlike before, we got a lot. So. Actually, let's see what our schedule is. We've still got a few minutes to catch here, so. So we'll fish this out till about 8ish, and then we'll advance to the 5 p.m. The cost you on your advancing to the, you know how that works. You advance too many times, your bag's full. You got a 20 or 30 minute cool down period before you can leave. That's the kind of bites. So. I've actually filled the bag up several times before the time limit and had to advance to the next morning. Uh, again, the the daily take is, I think the most so far has been like 21,000 for a day of fishing here. When we were making, I was actually making like 30,000 at Michigan, 32,000. That's a, it's a big drop from Michigan to here. And again, it could be the spots that I'm fishing. I may not be fishing for the right fish. Um, nighttime fishing is definitely a good sturgeon. Um, we're going to get that again at 9 p.m. Check our fish schedule, of course. Um, which man might be too far back. Now you got me. We can bring it back to 47. Ah, uh, you want to put it at a time, really? Any other time you'd have went two or three foot. Bet you Tammy's got the top five now. Top five. One. Nightbit five six seven six two zero two. Danny D 
1561004628533. Po J Gamer 1561004. Chris Nash 1393005. Cajun Racer 76885. Number two spot there. I don't chat a lot in my own chat, so I guess that's the reason I lost some spot there, but it's all good. We pulled it back. The rules in chat. One, don't self-promote. Two, don't spam. Three, don't ask for a mod. Four, be nice to others. Five, have fun and chill. You can you can use your lure bait here. Um, use a use a good bass jig if you want to. Uh, kind of mix it up a little bit. I haven't used a lot of uh, crank baits. Uh, I've used a couple of different size crank baits. Looks like we may be going ahead and switching to our peak time anyway here. Far enough down on the other side, we're not getting nothing. As soon as I said that, he jumped. If you have not, please rate the stream, hit that sub button, and make sure you turned on notifications. There might be a way I could have it. Because where night bit don't or night bot don't get no points. And I'll have to check my night bot and see or my fuss bot and see. Yeah, night bot shouldn't actually be getting no points, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead we're gonna advance our peak here. This spot was originally found by a lure bait. Uh, I had brought my kayak in here, and I had went all the way to the end down there. Welcome everyone in the stream. Please hit that sub button and join the PoJ Gamer team. Help us get to 4-0 subs. Please rate the stream and tea. Anyway, uh, I had set my kayak up down there. You'll notice if you go so far, it'll tell you uh, your boating limits. You go too far, just turn around and start heading down this channel over here, and stop when it says, you know, that arrow gets away from your screen. Don't have that box on your screen where you says you're too close to the area. I don't know if that'll affect it or not. But anyway, uh, once you get your kayak positioned down that channel, just take your lure bait and run it down through here. Um, I didn't catch nothing on the other side, that don't mean that there's not nothing there, but I physically didn't catch nothing on that other side. Alright, so here we go, let's, let's see what my honey spot makes for us here. Alright, so we should be, I'm going to start off a little slow, we should start gradually picking up though. originally found a spot I, like I said I was using my lure bait and when I decided to come back and fish off the bank to try to see if I could catch something here I wasn't actually finding my spot uh, then I realized I won't deep enough you pull up your GPS here you'll find out there is a very deep spot right in the center of this channel that's where they're hanging out I guess that deep spot but, uh, I would actually throw it over toward those rocks to my right and let it drift from there over to the center. And then once I realized where my fish were actually biting at, I just said to heck with it, I'll just start throwing there from now on. I heard the ding, there was some activity there. But I heard it goes, okay, he's there. You got that shiner spear, look at it. I'm on 
Let's go ahead and take it. Pretty shiny. Pull the exit. Run him around. I bet you if I pull him back to 45, he'll bite it as soon as I pull it back. He's running around. He's running toward me now. Okay. So he came all the way back to about 45 before he bit him. Could be another yeah, striped bass. Alright, all right, keep it. She just pick up basically here. This is actually how I was doing it when I found this spot. I'm about right here. Make sure it goes to at least 45 feet. 47, okay, that works. And then just let it drift down to the buoy. get a copyright law for doing the Jaws thing on a damn video, huh? Yeah, right. something there and he gets checked right on swimming past him. Yeah, this, this spot is, uh, well, no, this spot, this waterway, in my opinion, is Pretty slow pace. <coughs> I would love to find out what speeds in those little feeding frenzy patches. Uh, and I feel like we could follow them around and fill a bag up if we could figure out exactly what's feeding there. Come on, take the bait. There you go. That's a strike. Nope. I might, yeah, I think that's a large amount. Small mouse. <laughs> no, I was wrong again. Oh, man. I'm going to quit calling them out which ones they are until I see for sure again. fish this peak time here and then we'll uh, push on over to our night spot location uh, in fact you can probably see that dock in front of me kind of up to my left a little bit you can fish that location and fish with lure down this stream and then up in front of you where the sturgeons are at again lure bait will not catch a sturgeon but You'll catch other fish if that's what you want to fish for, but uh, they offer no lure bait whatsoever for the sturgeon. It looks like a strike. Fourteen pounds. They're, they're, they're good sized fish, but. Yeah. Put a 10 pound rig in there and try to pull in that. I'm gonna fight a few minutes. I mean, even my 12 pound, I fought like crazy with it. I was planning on using that 12 pound just as much as possible, you know, stay with the four alt hook, uh, and hope to keep down to a smaller fish. And, uh, that didn't work. I caught a uh, 30, I, I took pictures of the fish and in the, the rig that I was using, I think I saved a clip of it, um, 30 some pounds sturgeon, 
on one of my smaller rigs. I don't know if you remember the size of that salmon a while ago. You know, five hundred nine dollars for a fourteen pounder, and it was like seven hundred for seventeen pounder, whatever it was, eleven pounds. I don't remember the number, but two of these fish would equal about one of those fish for almost double the money. I mean, even the large amount bass pay pretty good. You know. In the days to come, I do plan on doing a little more kayak fishing, like say fishing around some of these brushy areas with some bass gigs and stuff. I'm just curious to what all is actually lurking in this water. There's a, one spot I haven't actually tried. Um, actually, there's several spots in this water I haven't tried, but um, when you spawn in at the, the kayak boat or kayak dock, come out of there and go left and go around that back side back there. Um, I kind of went around that word just a little bit, threw that lure, brought one in, dug it out again, nothing. So I was just kind of playing around in between peaks earlier. Might be a spot that we try later on doing lure fishing. That's going to be one of the deals where you just go around, cast out a time or two, move locations, cast out a you know. Not so much one particular spot unless we can find a hot spot like that. And then we'll fish it till it dry. We're still about 30 minutes under the peak. Maybe a little longer than that, actually. If you enjoy fishing, you know, like I do, uh, enjoy playing the game and fishing as well. Some of these wait times are not that bad, too. Um, not real bad right here just compared to some of the stuff that I've had to wait for. Uh, <laughs> I got on one fight with one and it was probably an hour into the game. Uh, or excuse me, an hour of gameplay. Not reality, but in the gameplay itself. It was about an hour to pull that fish in. I'm, where you at, dude? And the same thing with my lures. When I'm fishing lures, uh, I don't use nothing but my 40 pound rig. It's, it's ridiculous trying to use something else. It would be nice to be able to land a big fish with you know, a smaller 20 or so rig. I hate fighting for a fish 30, 45 minutes and it breaks my line or get off. If I had a little bit overpowered rig, then I could just go on and bring it in. It's still going to be a little bit of a challenge, uh, especially if you land a sturgeon, which we will. We'll, just, we'll land one as soon as it gets dark, I guarantee it. Of course, my guarantee is not working right this minute with these striped bass. Let's pull it over this way a little bit. Let's go back. The thing about keeping your line tight right here, keeping it where you want, you can kind of you move that bait around a little bit down there and not cost you a strike or lose your bait. Got him scared now. Here it comes. He didn't even fight at all. You see that? 
Il dira. If I'd have been using that little chin pound rig, he wouldn't give up. Right, we're going to tap him going that little bit. It's 44. And I've noticed a time or two I thought my bait was actually on the bottom. I guess the current in certain areas may be a little stronger than others. But that's like right now. It, it actually looks like I'm on the bottom, but I'm not. Uh, current's pulling in plus he's actually trying to pull away from me a little bit too. But uh, you think you're on the bottom. Maybe just pull it two foot and see how your bobber reacts. If you're on the bottom, you know, it does that funny little flip. Kind of back and forth real quick. There were several times when I thought I was on the bottom and I actually was not. All right, coming up on six o'clock, ten minutes till. We'll be starting to get a little more active here. Come on. Game's gonna make me a liar yet, ain't it? If I don't catch a sturgeon while on this stream, it's going to make me a liar, that's for sure. Better caught the striped bass. Got to send up. Well, any other fish. Just, I mean, I've caught the bluegill. Like I said, I've caught the California road. Smallmouth bass, white. Uh, I want to say it was a white catfish that I caught here. Um, got to use the smaller hooks. I mean, if you want to catch different uh, species, you, you got to sacrifice and go down to the ones and two hook type bait. Uh, crickets, grasshoppers, uh, mayflies work here. Uh, I caught a bluegill on a mayfly. Uh, peas, uh, large cut bait, medium cut bait. Small cut bait, they all work in different species of fish, believe it or not. So, I haven't used too many minnows. Uh, I did try the minnows when I was doing them feeding friendly spots. Uh, and I attempt to find out what was there, but I didn't stay with the minnows very long. And this this spot works even off peak. It's just not as active. So you do make it here, just, uh, except this buoy. And remember to paddle over during off peak, so you don't waste a lot of your peak time fishing to get over here. But, uh, and once you get over here, you can advance your time, do whatever you want to. I have not tried the back side of this channel. Uh, I have no idea what else is here. There may be other fish here that you know may be worth fishing for. Uh, I haven't tried any other spots yet. Kind of the reason I just uh, worded my description the way I did uh, in an attempt to you know possibly get other people. So uh, you've been here before. Tell us your story. Uh, kind of like what we want to do. We want we want to try to bring in other people to tell us your story about it, tell me where you caught it, what you caught it with, um, did you enjoy it, so, so forth. So, tell us your fishing experience here is how I worded it. Uh, I was going to put that in the actual title. Uh, I changed my mind. I figured I'd put it in the description. I don't want to... <coughs> I don't want to do a clickbait title, that's for sure. I want my title to be legit. And so far, the way the title works, the striped bass and the white sturgeon is our two main. We've got the white striped bass, or the striped bass, rather. Than, uh,
we'll, uh, we'll get you started. I'm kind of, uh, kind of a little upset about my hot spot here. That schedule of you, I'm pretty sure I'm right on peak. Ah, okay. Just before, still got about an hour before peak. About seven. Should still be getting some activity. Up. Maybe I need to go a little further downstream. It's 56. We'll try it there for a while and come back slow to it. You don't have to stand in this exact spot either. Uh, like I'm standing, you can stand anywhere along this cutout. Um, you can actually go back there where my kayak's too and throw it this way and let it gradually float downstream towards you if you want to. I just, I don't like fishing that way. You, know? you gotta constantly sit there and wind in the slack. Uh, I don't like fishing that way. Like doing the sturges in that one spot where you've got to throw it out 50 feet and then slowly let it come back to that one tree and you're going to catch one there. Uh, that's about the only time I do it unless I'm trying to find some hot spots maybe. But not, we're not having to look at 56 feet here. I'm trying to a little to the right pulling towards me that way. Try to keep that bait out in the middle as much as possible if you can. Easier said than done if you want to swim around a little bit. As long as you're fishing at 99 inches, you can't go but so far unless you come up with it. And for some reason, you can't do that. Like he's a dumb fish, he only knows how to swim around at the 99 inches you drop him at. Come back another few feet. Probably gonna bring me back three feet this time. Keeping it to the right, trying to keep it full toward that middle, and keep it around that buoy as much as possible. Alright, we seen something. Yeah, just heard it. Thing, but he definitely seen something. I need to bring him on back to 50 and make him see closer. Oh, there it was. Oh, and he comes straight toward me. Oh, we got to jump up out of the water. Come here, you beautiful striped bass. 14 times 538. Still getting 108 XP out of that. So you can imagine what I'd be getting if I was using my smaller rig. <sighs> Bad thought about this line. It's just... You see, I had it set to 36. I was catching them Chinooks with it. I tried it, snatched my hook off and everything a lot earlier. That's right. Yeah, it took about 50 some feet of line off my line when it broke it earlier. So I don't know if this line, this reel, I don't know if this line's actually any good to you. But we're gonna, we're gonna try it. This is a 12 pound setup right here. 13.9 pound rig, a reel. Back to about 50. And cross your fingers that nothing massive hits me while I'm doing this. 
like it has in the past. Mike could come in here with your 12, 10 or 12 pound rig and work fine. But I would switch up. If you want to do the Chinook, do at least a 25 pounder. Um, striped bass, probably 20, 25 pound the same. Um, I don't know. We, we'll, we'll see how the that first initial 25 or the striped bass spot up front toward the waterfall. Um, you should probably get by there with a the 10-pound rig. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything smaller, to be honest with you, but you can try if you really need to. 10-pound uh, for this, 10-pound for those, and any other spots that I showed so far, uh, I wouldn't use anything under 25 pounds. For the Chinook, and I wouldn't use anything under the 40 pound or 35 pound for the uh, sturgeon. All we done was change rig, and now we're not getting nothing. Okay, that's typical. Isn't it? There we go. Let's see what we can bring in with the 12 pounder. Actually, I can go up on my drag setting if I have to. And you can see how good that two pounder fought on a 12 pound rig. Let's see if we can catch a healthy strike bass here, right quick. of reality fishing here. Another hour, maybe the game fishing. And 7.30 and 8, it's going to drop off to the very minimum. And we'll go over to the 9 o'clock spot, spot, see if we can plant a couple of sturgeons. We had 159 pounds so far, and the biggest thing we caught was that uh, salmon. So we should be in the upper neighborhood of Say six or seven thousand, maybe eight thousand dollars so far. I use a couple of lures during uh, night fishing. I use a couple of night lures, and they uh, they seem to attract the fish real good at night. Uh, crankbaits, actually. Uh, I didn't try anything else. I use a couple of night version crankbaits, uh, and we're catching some pretty decent fish off of it. So. Maybe we can attempt that on our next night trip. Nice. Night trip, we're going to do the sturgeon. Uh, if we can hurry up and get through this peak time with a decent catch, it would be beneficial. I'm try to pull him back a two footer. Two. Waiting time right here. Oh, it blows. 
nose are down there, and all I done was change rig. Same hook, same depth, same bait. Give me something good this time, then. There you go. That'd be a nice catch. Probably the exact size fish I don't want to catch with this smaller rig, but that's a straight bass. It's a fight. Look! <laughs> Ooh, love that fish dance. Come here. Again, remember, I'm using my 25 pound rig. Wait till you see what size fish this is. Fourteen pound. Guess we can do something bigger than that. Yeah. I won't use this rig in my Chinook spot or my Sturgeon spot ever again, ever. I won't use nothing no less than 20. <coughs> and I probably, I really don't like using the 20 over there. I end up having to bring him back to 44 again. I wonder if there's a spawn point somewhere around this area. Closer to whatever scared you. I like the way they hit right here in this spot. Nine, yeah. It's just seven out of ten striped bass that hit you from this spot come straight at you when they're hitting. Something got off my hook last night. Well, doing that same exact instance. It, it was a smaller fish. I mean, I could tell by the pull. But, and he charged me straight in, cut to the left and back to the right. Next thing I know, he was gone. Coming up on seven o'clock. We should be getting better hits than this right here. I gathered over a hundred pound of fish here last night. spot, didn't I? Yep. Oh, he done seen you now, Shiner. You ain't getting away. Back over here. Here we get the bed. He 
starts getting dark here quick. Seven o'clock, you notice that change in lighting. Uptime. Live a stream running for one hour for five minutes. I'll try to get another forty five minutes into the stream, two and a half hour stream. May end up stopping at the two if we can catch that sturgeon at the right time. Oh, buddy, I know you see something now. Yeah, he does. Tell by the way, you got my bobber laid up on over sideways. He's trying to get away from something over here. Tossing a little to the left of that buoy next time. Definitely something right there. He'd see it. Man. He's trying too hard to get away from it. But he didn't get away. And there's your hard hitter right there, buddy. Look at that. Good stuff. This is what I was worried about right here. Something this big. Best I can tell is the striped bass. The way it's jumping around. You can see all that fish. It looks like a stripe. At this point, I cannot go up any further with my drag. I'm maxed out. If I go up again, it will snap. All I can do is hope he gets tired soon. There you go. A little time. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it, baby. 14 pounds. All right, now look, look, 14 pound fish, seen the fight right there. Look here. That's a 12 pound max rod, 13.2 on the reel, and I'm using 12 pound test. So, picture trying to pull him in on an 8 pound test. I wouldn't want to do it. Ooh, what was that? Is all that splashing going on there? I'm going to let this ride downstream and see what we see here. Wow, what was that? Something already hit it that quick. Something short pulled him under for a second there. Yeah, 
There's something right there. Thirty-one feet, really. That gets a little bit down. Yeah, I Definitely something there playing around. Yeah. Wow. 11 pound strike bats. Alright, 435. I'm gonna get up off that little pedestal right there. See what we were standing on. Actually standing up on the weeds. But now what are we gonna do? I'm going to do a little bit of that float cast in here. That 30, oh my goodness. Already. Okay. Now they moved upstream just a tad bit on me, didn't they? If they went up any further. Again, I'm doing a tight fishing I really hate to do. I hate putting my bob right there and watching it float downstream and hoping something smells it or catches it. But at this point, we know there's something up here. Oh, yes. A little small mouth fighting my cat. Like I said, at this point we know there's something out here, so we're going to continue fishing this spot right here. When it goes dry, we'll move on back down to our little buoy. And it may end up floating that far. We'll see. He's swimming downstream now. May have seen something. Oh, he's looking downstream now, ain't he? There you go. You see, you realize you didn't need to go that way, didn't you? 
Ah, wait a minute, you gotta stay right here for a minute, baby. Strike one thirteen and four twenty two K. Not bad. I even use my kayak to kind of ride around watching for places for swirls and stuff like that. Every time I do canoe out to another spot, I pay attention to the water and attempt hope to see you know, fish activity. But the eating frenzy is the only thing I've seen. Other than when the uh, striped bass uh, up in that first location. Uh, I think they're actually for feeding along with whatever fish is feeding. So therefore he's, he'll sometimes swirl uh, close to the top right before he strikes your bait. You act like you see it. Huh? Clock. Well, not much longer we'll be able to go to our, uh, back to our starting spot. Hopefully the uh, night fishing will be pro prosperous over there. Yeah, I think those few we caught upstream there a little bit were just passerbys. Uh, I think it was kind of a luck thing. Could be wrong. I could throw it back there next time and bring in something else. But, uh, Down our peak, we shouldn't be catching something. Keep him moving around a little bit every now and then by pulling him. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I'm 
There he is. I did do one that thing. Come on. Go ahead and take it. Here my shiner bad enough. See where our schedule is. See where we're at. Yeah, we're on the tail end of it. But I'll be right back. I will continue this. Our next stop being the sturgeon hole. Be right back. Welcome everyone, hit that sub button and join the PoJ Gamer team, help us get to 4-0 subs, please rate the stream and turn on notifications. I am back. Back to a spot here. See if we can pick out a couple more minutes here. We'll actually reset locations in the bit. So we should go back to the dock. Instead of paddling over there. Although it would take a few more minutes to get there. No. No sense and all that. Try to see if we can get a couple more striped bass out of this location. By far, the first location I showed has been the best for the striped bass. So, still a good location. But the first place, the first waterfall, was still the best location for the striped bass. So, where the unique came from. So, a couple of trophies. So, we can get something else from right here. Oh, oh, go that way. Stay up here. There you go. You didn't get away from him that time, did you, buddy? Two pound of large mouth. $154. Not much on the XP, though. Ringing my doorbell. There you go. Can we get another stripe path? Yep. Pretty sure. 
15 pounder, 188 feet. And we're, we're going to fish this spot till 9. As long as we catch them, we might as well. Minutes. As soon as it takes too long to catch a fish, then it's time to move on. It's already going downhill. That is scary. Let's wait to pull here. Yeah. I'm directly away from it, looks like. Try to go it this way. Still a really good end. Turn your right and left, you know, you gotta keep pulling in, letting out, pulling in, letting out. Yeah. It's looking pretty dry here. There you go. You see something now? Further this way, maybe? Yeah, he's trying to get away from something down there. Cool, buddy, cool. trying hard to get away from whatever it is. Got a feeling I know where they're hanging. Have you tried that spot? No, not yet. Uh, it's not quite 9 o'clock. Um, got 30 more minutes of game time before the time to head over there. I'm going to wait till it gets 9 p.m. before I start there again. I could probably catch one over there, you know, possibly now. I got one more little striped bass. It looks like he's been playing with my lure I'm trying to catch. But then hopefully it'll be time to go over there. Little fish right here. I'm beginning to give up. I'm gonna give up on him. I have one more time right here. This was our lucky second lucky spot right here. If we don't get it by the time he gets to that second rock, we're gonna go ahead and go to our sturgeon spot. Try it. So you having any luck down there in Florida? Hoppers and walkers uh, work pretty good down there for bass.
along those docks, um, little docks you can walk out on. Uh, there's like uh, canals between the marshes, between the reeds and stuff. They work real good in them areas. Something to try and right here. Starting to force a catch. Stay up here, buddy. Stay up here. Not much, but the base is active bidding. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, pretty active down there. Right? It's a good spot. Bidding. Yeah, I, I kind of knew what that meant. Siri don't know how to say the word Biden. You didn't even say it right when you typed it right. So. Okay, 839, I think we're going to go ahead and jump over. Uh, this is one of the locations for, you know, lure baiting. Uh, go ahead and jump in there right quick. Uh, and if you will notice, there is the buoy where we were just at. Uh, lure fishing from down that way, back this way. Um, bait is just simply going to follow your current. It's gonna, you throw it out that way, your bait's going to float downstream towards you. So I don't recommend using bait here unless you don't mind that type of fishing. I despise it. I hate it. Uh, we're going to cast out just one time here. You're not ideal. Uh, I'm using 8 foot 4 aught. Uh, the 6.5 uh, does work here. Seem to have a little better success out of this one, even though I've got to do a little playing sometimes, depending on how close to the bottom it gets. But most time it's the straight pull, straight slow, they call it on the other baits, uh, other lures. We'll make one pass here. You should keep passing that way, um, especially during peak. You, you're going to catch a range of the, the bass, oh, steelhead, uh, he snagged it up down there. You might stand a chance of still catching a few steelheads over here. Steelheads seem to pay pretty good. Uh, first cast, got a bite. See what we got here. If you have not, please rate the stream, hit that sub button, and make sure you turned on notifications. Right there. Okay, so we're gonna do it one more time just because we did catch that particular fish, and see if we can make a twosome out of this catch. Nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And experiment with different, different, uh, I mean, if you're going to use crankbaits here, I would experiment with all of, uh, as far as depth. Try to get you a three off, three foot, um, get you a six foot, eight foot, twelve foot, maybe. Um, if you go to the real deep ones, like the thirties, you're just going to be doing this right here. You can just drag to the bottom. Welcome everyone in the stream. Please hit let the off sub button and join the post. You have to do stop and go here. Help us get to four zero subs. Please rate the stream and tea. I don't necessarily like the stop and go method here with crankbait, but it, it is effective. It works, but I never know if I'm actually doing it correctly. I watch how-to videos on crankbait fishing, um, real life. I never use crankbaits in real life, so uh, I'm trying to get a general idea of how to go about doing them. And you know, there's so many different methods of using crankbait. <coughs> I'm just going to pull up the GPS to show you right here. We have a very, very small window of depth. Um, so therefore, the reason I'm saying you know smaller, three foot, six foot, eight foot. Um, if you want to bass this, use the crawfish 3 3 aught. It works real good along these edges. Um, at this point, we're going to use this, uh, try to cut down that middle channel. 
see if we can pull us in a steelhead or a uh, another striped bass from here. We've got about five minutes. It's, it can be, it'll be dark on this time we get to the other ones. Uh, again, remember the steelhead or the uh, sturgeon. Thumbs up. Thanks, sir. Sturgeons will not hit um, lure. I don't know why they designed them not to hit lure bait, but uh, they will not hit a lure. Kind of bite down the hook. I mean, I'd, I'd like to be able to use uh, my 40 pound rig to catch a lot of these big fish with. Just not capable of doing it. I think it was a couple of them that didn't lift uh, a lure style bait. A little small, but he will keep large now. 2.1. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over. Those are two spots you can actually fish from there. Uh, again, if you want to look fish for like smaller bass, um, specifically bass, you do um, like three, maybe six, and fish these smaller areas here. And the same with the back size. Um, Fish along these edges and catch you some decent sized bass. But that being said, we're gonna. Uh, why do you keep wanting to go to my room here? Alright, now we're gonna go over to this spot. First thing first, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna try the one spot that I know for sure. I think this is set up at crankbait. Yeah. Set up at 28 inches. Just going to put our shiners on. This place huge. It is. Yes, it's huge. Uh, there's just there's several areas that you can't go in with the boat, but uh, it's still huge. There's a lot of areas that you can. And we're going to fire try our 28 inch depth first. That should be a good number. Oh, something's already got him scared. Come on, be the sturgeon, baby. Be the first catch. Set my drag up, ready. You can have this free shine. Yours, take it. Don't chase him this way, damn it. Look here. That man's so shiny, I don't know where to go. Still coming this way. Let you know where the fish are. He's further out. He's chasing him away from that pole. Chased him right into a little bass. Another reason I didn't use the seven knot hook here all the time is the wait time in between catches with that seven knot man. It's just it's ridiculous. I want a little better turnaround for a drop. So. This is the spot on Cajun Racer video. Yep, this is it. All right there. I'm, this is perfect. I'm on the ledge. I'm at 28 inches. Now, again, the 28 inches may not catch this one this time. May have to drop it or pull it up to 10 inches. But just as soon as you drop off that ledge right there, stop. Don't wait it out. Again, this is definitely a wait out type fish. I don't, I'm not sure if they're just type lurker type fish. They just kind of lurk around uh, being predators or how they actually work. But uh, I know I have actually had to sit here and wait several minutes before uh, catching any sturgeon. I was almost disappointed just how long it took. Uh, I was to the point to where it's like, you know, I've, I've got to make this 60,000 back, and I'm not going to make it. 
was just kind of catching. And my first day here was only a sixteen thousand dollar profit or you know take. So sixteen thousand versus sixty thousand. I'm like, man, I just don't know about this water here. Just, so I, I started venturing out different paths, different fish, trying to actually gain a little money back. Kind of in a slow process. It worked, but yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't recommend you spending a lot of money here unless you're planning on doing at least a five-day challenge or even thirty, um, because you're not going to make your money back in one day here. Well, yeah. you may uh, if you don't spend but the one day on license. I bought a three-day license. So. Or did I buy the five? Either way, I bought the most, like the second one, third one down in the list. Uh, I was planning on doing my 30-day challenge here. So instead of having to buy a license every okay. single day, MOG thumbs up. I figured I'd go ahead and buy multiple days of it. And you can actually profit a little bit. You'll save a couple hundred dollars if you buy it more than one day. Figure the math for one-day license and then figure the math for two-day license. For a three-day license, as you'll see, there's a little, little price break. All right, we're fixing to change to our 10-inch. I'm, I'm not satisfied with this right now. Let me give it just a couple more minutes here, but I'm not going to waste a lot of uh, string time trying to catch one fish that may or may not jump on my hook. They are definitely here. This is definitely the spot for the sturgeons. Um, there may be other spots around this lake besides these two that I'm showing you here, but the sturgeons that I have caught are from this spot. And I have found, in my experience here, they're not biting here. Turn to the one to the right, or that middle finger looking, and does a 50 Sweet. out. Peak time might be a little off. I didn't even pay attention to what my night peak was. Maybe like two or three o'clock in the morning. And he's steadily swimming my way. That's not no good there. Alright, yep. We're not going to waste it. We're going to go ahead and go to our 10 inch. And then we'll try the other one at 99. The reason I set up two identical like that too is it's benefiting here that I can have one set for one height for this spot and then simply switch rigs for the other spot. I wouldn't have to change line depth each time I switch spots. Right, there we go, 10 inch, 107 foot. Possibly too far in, but we're going to ride it out for a little, little time, uh, a little closer each time. But That should be a good spot. Oh, we're waiting on him to possibly attract us a sturgeon and we'll light that cigarette here. And usually that's when they bite, when you set your controller down. Gradually pull it toward us a little bit. Just a little bit of a tug here. We can draw some attention. I watched another guy's video where he would actually uh, take it to L2 button and pop it just a little bit. Um, I don't recommend that. Every time I've done that, it pops up and says that I've. Uh, Missed a strike or my bait and I've been eating. Uh, I guess I'm just hitting it at the wrong time or something, but uh, 
I recommend just slowly take the tire and wait for them. Uh, they're here. And I don't recommend spending a lot of money coming just for the sturgeon. Um, you'll be disappointed. I was. I mean, not to the point to where I wanted to quit. Don't get me wrong, but I was. I was highly disappointed at the bite rate. Um, New techniques. Yeah, I mean, it's you have to use a little different technique sometimes for everything. Uh, you know, I think I'm fixing to switch over to the right, but I don't think we're going to get no activity right here. Um, but yeah, it, sometimes it takes changing your techniques up a little bit. Hopefully, you know, it, it's beneficial to find that, you know, the technique might not work every time, but at least you know something else that might work if you get a new, you know, something different. I really don't think I caught anything that far back. Pretty sure it's been closer to the 90. I'm not sure what he's seeing that I would really like it. And here he comes swimming this way again. Yeah, he sees something down there. But does whatever see you he sees, is it see him? Yeah. Yep. Here it comes. Come on, give us that big sturgeon, baby. Come on. Wow, I am not believing that. That's about what I said the first time I showed up here. I watched several videos and attempts to find these sturgeons and this is the corner every video pointed me to. This one and that one in the middle of course, but uh, the Chinook, uh, clinical out there in the middle where I was casting from earlier. If you get too far to the left, he's out of range. At 10 inches, you're in chance to get anything out here, way out here toward the middle of slim. Although there's still a little something going on, I just heard another ding. Now give me a bass. I'll settle with bass. Just give me something here. I'll make waste my cast. Have you get contact with Cajun Sid? No, uh, I seen him online the other day, but I haven't talked to him. I've, I've seen where he was online, but uh, I haven't talked to him. I don't know if he's feeling under the weather or not. He's several days before he got back online. But. He's trying to pull away from something there. Back over here. Uh -oh. I'm gonna try our other spot right quick. Ninety nine. Give me one. Fifty foot. Come on, Sturgeon. Don't steer me wrong this time. Notice we're still on the bottom, right? Should be about to drop off right about there. Yep. Okay. What are we going to get first catch here? Not a sturgeon. Not a sturgeon. I'm no problem with this spot. Uh, therefore, you use a smaller hook. 
you know, to catch everything, you use a bigger hook, you're going to catch nothing for a long time. These dry spells between you catching fish. It's kind of terrible. Key pesky base. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pesky yeah, ass, small mouth, large mouth. They, they don't. I'm sure there's bigger. Um, possibly bigger bass than what I've been catching, but uh, the minute I go up to the seven knot hook, you see here for wow, ungodly amount of time and not catch nothing. Uh, that's when I went back to my four all hook and I actually started catching a few fish. But, and now that I've got my profit margin up there where I want it, it might be that I could try some different size hooks and limit some of these smaller fish from biting, hopefully. The payout in the XP penalty is quite a bit different here, too. For an 11 pound sturgeon or a steelhead, excuse me, 11 pound steelhead on a 12 pound rig or even a 25 pound rig, you might not see a reduction on it. If you hook that small mouth or striped bass, then you'll get a penalty. So, well, don't quite understand the difference in the payout. Why this 11 pound one will give you a reduction and that one won't. Stop cold still. That's usually a good sign when he stops like that. He, something's fixing to take it. Look like this time. So this is the this is the exact reason why I would not come here. It's uh, you know, anticipating a good day of nothing but sturgeon fishing. I want to say large cut bait was the other uh, bait that they used. We can look and make sure I'm right. But, all right, there's some activity. Let me get one. It got so slow. I was actually sitting over there on the couch and uh, watching TV with the wife while I was fishing. Uh, I'd throw it out, you know, five or ten minutes later, catch a fish. You know, so kind of the slack way of fishing, but I was doing everything I could to keep from leaving, getting disgusted with the catch rate, and trying to continue to catch some type of fish, even during peak and off peak time. So. I was actually doing pretty decent out there on the uh, salmon during off peak. It seemed what they paid. They, a full bag of Chinooks you might get 19000 15000 Just depends on the size of your Chinook. I think that day three of mine was a pretty much an all Chinook day. A couple bass here and there. But, uh, I didn't even bring 16000 on that day. Yeah, another spot that's a bus. I'm hearing activity. There's something within his sight. Probably going to be another one in pesky bass. Yeah. Nope, that's bigger than the bass. There's, there's your white sturgeon. It's a small one, but there's your white sturgeon coming up right there. And I say small. Keep the mind that I'm saying the word small. But when you see him, for what he's doing to my 35 pound rig here, I'd be glad to pull it up in my uh, inventory to show you that this is my 35 pound rig here. There you go. Ooh. 
41 pound. No wonder it pulled a little bit. 398 XP, 1958. Uh, my record sturgeon to date. So, but still, again, 35 pound rig with a 41 pound fish. I should have been able to pull him in a little easier than that, I would think. But, thank you, sir. Now, I have found in my past experience, you've seen how long it takes me to catch that one sturgeon here. I won't catch one this time. I'll catch a striped bass, a smallmouth bass. Oh, that's too close. I had to reset that. Sorry about that. I probably could have left it at 49. I like minimum 50. Minimum. Alright, we're going to run the 53 again. Again, don't go too far up. Because the further up you go, the longer it takes to come downstream. But I usually catch them between those two trees right there. I'll kind of point my rod. Similar. They usually hit about right there. I think he might already see something. Yeah, he's pulling away from me. Now, I think he's just swimming around. Swimming toward me again. Okay, so this is the one spot that I didn't lie about. I'm kind of glad I caught a sturgeon here at least. catch one more from here and we'll try to catch one from our other spot at 10 inches. I feel like our 10 inches is actually going to work tonight. What are you doing, buddy? Don't run too far. Can we get another start? Uh, nope. Smallmouth bass. Two hundred dollars, but serious points reduction there. You can pass through here, and it makes it all the way to that second tree, and you don't touch nothing. Go to that pole. Go to that first spot at ten inches. And if you don't get none to 10, keep working your way down. Go from 10 to 31. 31 doesn't do nothing. Go to 36. 28 to 36. Um, those are the depth ranges that I've seen actually work in these spots. 99 here, definitely. Always. Um, with that spot around the poles. Uh, hi, hi, bro. Hey, what's up? Uh, Christina Conway. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Just in time to watch me pull in this little puny fish here that we're not even fishing for. Okay, so anyway, how's it been going to you? That's not far enough. Nope, nowhere near far enough. Alright, let's go ahead and try our. Uh, Sub Mike. Did you say Mike? Why change your name? It's Misha. Show cunt. Shake cunt? You're using a girl's name? What are you doing? I thought your name was Mike. Yeah, it's Mike. Huh. No. You're beginning to make me wonder about you, Shape. You got me wondering now, for sure. Oh, that's some love cat. Went past my white box. Went back to about a hundred to start with. Alright, here we are. Come on, let's pull a sturgeon out of here. 
It's my mom. Oh, it's your mom's account. Okay. Uh, I'm if cool with it now, mom, then. Please raise the screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with it now, then. Make sure you turned on notifications. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with you using your mom's account, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for even thinking anything otherwise. <laughs> But anyway, how you been doing today, man? You been grinding out some uh, fishing lately, or you just been kind of chilling? I know we have been grinding some fishing out. Your boy oh, Danny's yeah. done. Uh, your boy Danny's done made level forty. He's climbing the ladder quick. Well, I know that he's gonna be up here with me in the rankings. Actually, he already is. I bet he's, he's just before turning rank one. I bet. Another one of them small fish. So this should warrant our next one being a sturgeon here. I'm gonna bring it alive. Even last night when I was fishing here to uh, fish out my bag, seems like the uh, 100 feet seems to be the best strike you know. Now, I caught a few at 31 inches um, using uh, Cajun numbers. I guess he did not tell me that. I just seen it on his video that that's what he had set to 31. He was trying a couple of different spots or times, uh, depths. But, uh, I was getting, like uh, I say, I reach level four zero. I will chilling around fishing everywhere. Yeah, I can't wait to get down there to Florida with you. Uh, show you that bass spot. Uh, I can share those. I might can share those with you. Cajun shared them with me, so I don't know if I can share them with somebody else or not. But if I can, I'll be glad to share them. Uh, you can fill your bag up with butterfly peacock bass. Uh, using about. A, I don't know. You can probably get by with using a 10 pound rig on them. Um, I mean, I would definitely always carry my main rig, your 20 or 20, 30, whatever it is you use. But uh, you could probably do a pretty good size fishing down there with the uh, say a 10 or 12 pound rig and not get a lot of reductions. <clears throat> But there's one spot out there I guarantee you're going to need something about a 35 pound rig to bring some of that stuff in. And this, this spot's still a little dry right now. I need to look at my schedule. I don't want to have to peak or uh, advance it none, but if I do that, then I'll have to sit here until cool down time. I'm just trying to swim away from me again. Maybe we need to move up to me a little bit. Put him right in the path of him. Well, Mike, did you be sure you slap that mic button when you come through here? If you didn't, I'd appreciate you slap that like button before you leave. We're about to catch us another sturgeon here. So as we get this in, we'll look at our schedule. I'm not going to waste the cast to look at it. Uh, unless he gets to that left hole over there. something else I needed. I'm going to try the 36 inch too. Um, getting that 36 worked out there on the other spots. It's worked on like three other locations at 36 inches. Might be something to try here. Right, I think we are. We're going to try that. Those Chinooks, uh, 
I accidentally found that 36. I just kept trying a couple of different ranges. And I know in 36 being three foot, we were at least three foot out there. This is where it's going to be. You throw it on the bank. And I didn't want to do that. Yeah, that's going to throw that cast all up. Mess it up. God, I'm nice. Sorry about that, y'all. Played it too far. Oh, I finally caught a boot. <laughs> that looks like a shoe. That ain't a boot. Hey, Danny, I found your shoe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, let's try that again. We, we still want the bait to land up on the lip. I think that's my shoe. <laughs> you think that's my shoe? Okay. There's 90 foot, 95 foot. There's a drop off. I thought it was. All right, so this is a 36 inch try. 10 inch is not doing us so good right now. So. See what three foot does for us. Yo, Mike, we found your shoe over here. Thirty-six looks to be a bust too. Now, how deep we can go in that spot? I haven't tried that yet. Maybe something we can try here shortly. To see how deep we can actually get here. In my opinion, from what I've seen, the deeper the better on those sturgeons. But oh, he's steadily swimming my way. What are you doing, China? It's not looking so good either. Now let's, since I keep forgetting to do this, let's see what our fish schedule says. Okay, so we're coming up on peak now. So, with that being said, let's, let's try some more depth. Uh, let's go five foot. You already know we got to at least come out 95 feet. I'm going to try to go a little short and hope to land about 95. Right, 89 and we're still touching. All right, come back out a little further. Looks like we're about. All right, so 80 to 83. Looks like it starts at five foot deep right there. Oh, he's swimming hard okay. And he's swimming this way again. My God, really?
mundane. Again, that does not always mean you're going to catch a fish. That just means something's down there. Knowing I heard that, knowing nothing wants this shiner from down there. And he's going to be steadily swimming towards me. Nice one away. I'm going to end up catching another small bass playing around like this. <clears throat> this is part of what I was telling you. This is uh this is why it wouldn't be wouldn't benefit you to come here specifically for the sturgeon. I know I've caught them at 10 inches up there. Um, trying these other depths is kind of crazy, but still. Wow, something just swam right past me there. Alright, we're in a deep spot, so let's see what 99 gets us right here. like we're right on the edge of it anyway. It'd be nice to find another sturgeon location up through here. Disappointed with that first spot for sure. Another depth we didn't try was a 28. I had the rig set to 28, so evidently I was using the 28 here for some reason. No activity. And I just I just don't see how this makes a good stream. You know, sitting here with nothing happening, no activities. You can't stream something like this and be, you know, have it fun for somebody. You know. Got to be something. You know, I don't care if it's just a bath, but something. See the current still falling to the left a little bit. I can see if there's a sweet spot right in here. That looked to be. It's still, it's still pretty deep right there. Try the 28 at first. Probably trying this, referring back to the Michigan numbers 28 to 30. I think this is going to drop off about, but yep, there we go. Right now we're trying the 28 inch. And he's already swimming this way. For some reason, I cannot keep that shiner from swimming this way.
ridiculous. Stay out there and get eat. Something sick and get eat. Oh, take the bait. See why I give up on these two spots. I don't have the patience to sit here and wait 45 minutes, but hopefully 30 or 40 pound sturgeon. Maybe we'll have to mix it up and try another day. swim toward me every time I throw him out there, he'd be alright. There you go. Disappointed. Highly, highly disappointed in this spot. Figured as soon as I'd go live streaming, I wouldn't catch shit here. Maybe small fish playing with the bait. Well, I hadn't had nothing. I have no dings, no nibbles, no nothing. There's a, there's one ding right there. Again, just meaning he's something's close to me, but evidently whatever it is does not like my shiners. He's definitely active enough. I still think they're a little closer in. I don't think I'm getting far enough back to that 10 inch depth. Definitely trying to pull away from me now. Where are you going, buddy? Stay here and get in. Don't swim this way. Look at that. All this weight for possibly a bath. Yeah, that's a little bath. way already. Something's scaring him. Something's over there. He wouldn't be That's a small pesky thing. It's always messing your bait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then that's the fallback. If I go you know, use my ten pounder or something trying to catch these little two and three pound bass, about three or four of them in and then some seventeen or twenty or thirty pounder hits you, it's done. It's all over for that rig. That's something like that happen. You stand a chance of breaking your rig. You're definitely going to lose your hook and your bait. Um, but I, I'm, I'm dissatisfied with this late so far. Maybe if Kagan's here and he showed me some more spots or I'd watch some other videos. Be right back. I want to search sturgeon dietary tips. 
I Cage and exploited come when you can. Now I think I'm fixing to change up to the large cut bait here a minute or two and try that. He just took me up. Yeah, he just tangled me. Really? Large cut bait. If I'm not mistaken, here they're saying that the large cut bait and the uh, what did I miss it? Yeah, large cut bait and crayfish. Did you see? I caught it on that shiner a while ago. Okay, so maybe I've been using the wrong bait for this corner. Crayfish will catch you bass. I know they will. Alright, let's see what the large cut bait does for us in the tuna. We'll try the. Oh, no, there he is already. Right there. See? I can actually see him swimming around the bob right there. I won't take it. We're playing. Come on. Ah. All right, we'll get him this time. Yeah, we're gonna get Welcome him this time. Welcome to the stream. I am Buzzbot. Play games here and have fun from Roldis, Bank Heist, and Flipcoin. He smells that cut bait. There he is. Right there he is already. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was using the wrong bait for this spot. I was just urging. Yeah, if you're back again, sorry, man. I was using the wrong bait from here. Thirty-nine pound white sturgeon. It's only gonna pay me eighteen hundred dollars. And again, that's ten inch. So. Well, can't believe I was using the wrong bait all this time. Unless you want to catch a few cat or a bass, I don't recommend using crayfish. One forum said they all using live quit bait. Large cut bait. Yeah, I was using the wrong. I was using the wrong bait a while ago. This corner, the the large cut bait, and the middle spot, they like the shiners, and their shiners are not even on their diet their menu. Large. You, you actually seen me catch one off that shiner a while ago. Yeah, I've, that's why I had the one set up for uh, cut bait and the other no. one was set up for uh, shiners. Yeah, my first my first one was on the shiner that you seen me catch. One at 50 feet out, looking at the middle tree, the finger, the finger tree. 
I said, heavy. 35 pounds. All right, let's go for three in a row for this spot, shall we? Maybe the unique one love shiners. I'm not sure, bro. I'd say in that middle spot I was catching with shiners, and here I was catching cut bait. And I'd say I, I had both rigs set up last night for that purpose. I don't know. I guess I had a brain fart this morning. I forgot about it. Once I switched over to the uh, Chinooks and it was striped bass, I was using the uh, shiner. And like a newbie, dummy, whatever, I forgot the change back. Be right back. I try to dig at it more about their dietary. All right. Okay, Gen X exploited. Come when you can. Well, we've accomplished what we set out to do on this stream. Uh, three in particular: striped bass and the white sturgeon. Uh, I thought I had put steelhead on there, but I didn't. But uh, either way. We did set, we did do what we set out to do. We caught the white surgeon. I showed you a couple spots for the striped bass. It don't look like we're gonna get three in a row here. We switched to the other spot to probably catch one. I don't need but less than 40 pounds, 39 pounds. It would take a few ounces. But. Thirty-nine pounds. Feel the bag up. We could easily get it with two fish. We easily get it with one if I can catch that one forty pounder. Looks like something. Looks like something's swimming around my bobber out there. That's two or four out for ten inch right there. Twenty eight. You want to go back and drag it to your drop off. Right, where you drop off is exactly from where you're standing. That's 99. Close enough. Uh, what I was going to say is once you find out where you drop off and where you're standing is, you can attempt to get that spot every time if you want to. Be right back. Okay, Poe J Gamer, come when you can. 
Po J Gamer will be right back. It's okay, they will be back. Hurry back, Po J Gamer. They will be back. Do not fear, everyone. The rules in chat. 1. Don't self-promote. 2. Don't spam. 3. Don't ask for a mod. 4. Be nice to others. 5. Have fun and chill. If you have not, please rate the stream, hit that sub button, and make sure you turn on notifications. Yuck, cut bait is the main diet. Welcome everyone in the stream. Please hit that sub button and join the Pro J Gamer team. Help us get to 4 0 subs. Please rate the stream and team. It's that inside wiki page. Sorry, gotta end stream. Okay, sir. <laughs>